Hello everyone, welcome to the Iron Hand Tech Channel. Today, let's embark on a fascinating journey with plastic bottles, starting as waste and ending up as useful items in our daily lives. Let's dive in. Here, millions of plastic bottles are collected from various places, ready for the recycling process. First, these bottles are sorted by material. The most common and recyclable type is PET, polyethylene terephthalate, bottles. This is a type of polyester widely used in producing drinking water bottles, detergent bottles, bottle caps, and many other consumer products. PET is known for its durability, non-toxicity, and water resistance, making it one of the most popular materials in the packaging and storage industry. After sorting, the bottles are stripped of labels and caps. Now they're ready for shredding, a critical step in the recycling process. The plastic bottles are transported on a conveyor belt to the shredder. The blades inside the shredder crush the bottles into small transparent flakes. The shredded plastic flakes are often mixed with impurities, such as bits of labels, bottle caps, or other impurities. So the next step is to clean these plastic flakes using a flotation method. The flakes are placed in a large water tank where they are stirred. Lighter impurities like PVC bits and label fragments float to the surface, while heavier PET flakes sink to the bottom. Since the clean flakes are wet, they need to be dried. A dryer handles this perfectly using high-speed airflow to evaporate all the moisture. After drying, the PET flakes are packed and sent to another facility for further recycling. The PET flakes are melted and extruded into long strands of PET plastic. These strands are immediately cooled with water and then fed into a cutting machine where they are chopped into small pellets. These pellets are mixed with virgin polymer to ensure the desired plastic properties. They are also colored as required and prepared for new products. The insulating layer of electrical wires is crucial. It prevents electrical leakage, protects the wire core, and enhances the wire's appearance. The plastic pellets are fed into an extrusion machine. High temperatures melt the plastic, which is then pushed through a mold shaped like a tube. As the plastic emerges, a wire core is threaded through it. The melted plastic immediately coats and adheres uniformly to the wire core and is cooled instantly. A pulling machine stretches the wire and rolls it into coils. This process creates colorful electrical wire coils. And just like that, colorful electrical wire coils are formed. From discarded plastic bottles, now transformed into a new beginning. Plastic waste decomposes very slowly in the natural environment. Each type of plastic has a different decomposition time, which is often extremely long. For example, plastic bottles take 450 to 1,000 years to decompose. According to a 2022 report by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, globally, most plastic waste ends up in landfills, incinerated, or leaks into the environment with only 9% successfully recycled. 
Recycling plastic bottles saves a significant amount of energy. While it doesn't necessarily address end-of-life issues when bottles are thrown away, it reduces resource consumption during production. Recycling consumes 75% less energy per bottle, with some estimates suggesting the energy savings could equal removing 360,000 cars from the road. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss exciting videos. See you in the next one.